Hi guys, welcome to another tip of the week. I'm Luke from Trout River and today we're going to talk about inspecting your chain. A chain failure is probably one of the biggest inconveniences that you could have on a live bottom trailer or box such as this. For this reason it's a pretty good idea to inspect your chain from time to time and today we're going to go through the things that you can check on your chain. The first thing you want to check is your rollers. As the chain's going by the window, make sure they're all in good shape, make sure they're not deformed. This is a sign of an old chain, is when the, the rollers start to deform and this in itself is a real good sign that it's time for replacement. The second thing you want to check, and we wouldn't expect you to check all of them and never do this with the conveyor running, but just periodically shut the conveyor off, grab your roller and make sure it turns because if your roller is not turning, then it's wearing the roller, it's wearing your chain rail, and the chain should be either heavily oiled or replaced. The third thing that you should check for on your chain is cracks on the link plates. This is something that doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen occasionally, and it's sure to fail if there's cracks anywhere in the chain. They may be hard to see, sometimes stress cracks are pretty small, but after a good wash they should be pretty easy to see. The last thing that you can check is a little bit more difficult to check and we wouldn't expect you to do it all the time, but if your conveyor needed to be tensioned and you happen to have a pair of vice grips present, if you take your vice grips and clamp it around the rollers and give it a squeeze, you can check your link play to see if your pins are getting wore out. If your pins are getting wore out, it's definitely time to change your conveyor. Lastly, we're going to bring in a prop and show you guys what a chain should not look like. This chain was not well oiled, so as you can see, it's seized up real bad. The rollers don't turn, there's bent links, there's cracked links, the crossbars are cracked. If your chain looks like this, you're best off throwing it away. And guys, Luke from Trout River, I'd like to thank you for joining us for tip of the week. Always remember to keep your chain well oiled so it doesn't end up like that one we threw. And if you do end up needing a chain, be sure to contact us. We can hook you up with one.